All right, guys, welcome back. Elon's here with the latest software update, the end of year push, which he calls a holiday update. Not quite a holiday themed update, but just a sort of an end of year push for some features and functionalities added to the car. There's a lot to dig into, but I'm going to break this up into two parts. The first part is going to be about the driving visualization, which is the biggest thing we're most interested in. And then we'll do another one with the other features and functionalities. So let's jump into it right now. All right, so we're here. We got the latest update, 2019 40.50.1. And we've got some new improvements specifically with the full self-driving preview. So first and foremost, I'll read what it says. It says the driving visualization can now display additional objects, which include stop lights, stop signs, and select road markings. The stop sign and stop light visualization are not a substitute for an intentive driver and will not stop the car. Okay, so it's basically saying that, hey, there's no functional improvements here. We're not going to update autopilot to drive on city streets, as some have rumored. Uh, and we're not going to allow the car to stop actively at a stop sign or a stop light. But we're going to show the visualization just so that you as the driver know that it's there. All right, so let's, go, let's jump into that right now. Let's jump, take it out on the road for first drive. And I want to enable it by going to vehicle, autopilot, full self-driving visualization preview. I'll click yes. It gives me the, the sort of the warning to say that, again, this is just visual information. It's a preview and it's not a substitute for an attentive driver. So I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna do it. Then we're gonna get out on the road, take it for a spin. All right, so here we go. I'll keep the commentary to a minimum and I'll also cut, but here we go. First, we have a stop sign uh, displayed in the instrument cluster. We have a stop sign displayed in the instrument cluster. Also the line for where the stop sign, where you should actually be stopping is also highlighted here. So that's pretty cool. No real functional changes this update. This is all just visual, giving us a preview of what full self-driving will be specifically on city streets and city roads. Um, I've taken one quick spin already on it. Okay, here comes another stop sign. Looking for cross traffic and pedestrians. Here's some pedestrians right now. Uh, I'm not seeing the cross traffic in the car that's in front of me, nor am I seeing the pedestrians. Oh, there we go. A little bit of cross traffic, a little bit delayed as well. Another Tesla. Would love to be able to see that visualized as a Tesla, but I'll just keep saying it. Hopefully someone will listen. All right. Lane markings are all the same. No curbs, parked cars, trash cans. Kind of cool. We've got trash cans now. So the trash cans that are on the side of the road are actually visualized as trash cans, which are cool. Get another set of coming up here. Oncoming traffic has, is about the same as well. So oncoming traffic from the opposite direction shows up as frequently or infrequently as it did before. Nothing's really changed here. Lane lines are still consistent. Let's see if I can catch this pedestrian. Pedestrians look the same as well, not really moving. An intersection here, okay, the lines, the actual turn lines are actually on the ground that's kind of cool and then the actual lights as well so a lot to take it in, in that last intersection i'll go back around so we can see it again but basically it shows you the stop sign it shows you the traffic lights and it also shows you the turn signals and some more trash cans we just passed all right here we go another trash can right here see if it picks it up it does wow that's pretty cool not sure what the usefulness is of showing the trash can other than the fact that it can show it but there it is, stop sign and two more trash cans right here as well. Something new that was not included in the release notes in terms of visualization, so that's a nice little surprise. But again, not sure the usefulness of it. So again, hardware three, full self-driving enabled and the full self-driving preview as well. So this is what we're looking at right now. Trash cans galore, so cones and trash cans galore, which is pretty interesting. They're choosing these arbitrary objects that really don't have too much impact on driving, specifically trash cans, uh, and choosing to show those versus anything else. Stop sign coming up again. Very nice. I'll go this way. Here's more trash cans. So before it was cones, now it's trash cans. So if it's trash day in your area, your neighborhood, be prepared to see a lot of trash cans. Stop sign here, no real active anything happening here with the stop sign, it's just visual. 
even when they're they're falling over, um, it still visualizes trash cans. That's kind of cool. And again, a stop sign. And again, still the extrapolation of, of lane lines is still there. So it doesn't seem to have regressed at all uh, in terms of the visualization. But uh, I haven't put it on autopilot yet. So what I'll do right now is I'm just going to throw it on autopilot to see if it has any impact on stoplights. Again, we have full self-driving enabled. We have the full self-driving preview turned on. And we're in hardware three. Okay, a light is coming up. Let's see what it does. It starts to slow up a little bit but nothing quite there okay so you see the turn signal that was on the ground here you see the light pedestrians are still facing forward as opposed to facing to the side um, so that's pretty much the same would hope to see something different there and cross traffic is inconsistent so as I pull up to this stoplight I can't see the cross traffic consistently going through would love to be able to see that as part of the full self-driving preview giving me confidence More lights coming up, it shows all three lights ahead in green. I've not seen yellow yet. I've seen green and red, but not yellow. Let's see if that, that works. Animation is a little bit choppy on the lights as well. As you pass through, it's not as smooth as you see cars passing. Uh, I'm also noticing cars aren't passing fully uh, all the time. So they're passing, but just not fully all the time. They'll stop midway through. Not sure what that's about. We're actually gonna come up on a railroad crossing, which is actually active. I'm interested to see what happens here as the car sees the railroad crossing light. So again, lights that you see galore, but then also we see the train crossing. And the lights for the, tr for the railroad crossing. I wonder if it recognizes this as well. Once we get up a little bit closer, this Amazon truck is uh, kind of blocking us. Once we get up a little closer, we'll be able to see what it visualizes for railroad crossings um just on up oh, we actually see it there we go a little bit of a light there representing of that light doesn't quite show as it does show a little bit of red but let's see what happens now that the light is off okay cool so it shows those light it recognizes those as traffic based lights that are going to control the flow of traffic so that's kind of cool no lane markings for where you should stop for the railroad crossing and then other lights as well coming up here. So I'll take that real quick. Okay, I did see yellow. I took that just because I wanted to see if it showed yellow and it actually did. So that was pretty cool. So it does show the full spectrum of traffic lights, green, yellow, and red accordingly. Again, no real active measures to stop you or slow you down if you're going to, uh, as you approach it, other than the emergency stoplight warning, which we've already uh, previewed. Okay, all three lights as well as the crosswalk or the stop line on the uh, intersection. Conditions are getting kind of light. I'll try to brighten this up a bit. Again, I just want to get that yellow light really quickly. That's why I took this yellow light quickly just to be able to show what that looks like. Oh, wow, look at that, a cycling lane uh, indicator. If you saw that really quickly, there was a cycling lane indicator on the ground. So it basically it can read the signs that are on the ground. Just passed another one and it showed right there the cycling lane. If you saw it on the ground, you probably couldn't because the, the outside a little bit blown out because of the lighting conditions. But I'm passing another one and it should show on the ground as well if it recognized it. But it shows the cycling lane and it reads basically everything that's on the uh, ground in terms of signage for traffic. So if it said stop, it would probably say stop, just as I've seen some other videos show that. Um, the turn indicators where the lanes are, in terms of which lanes are gonna be turning lanes versus which lanes are straight, it shows those. And then again, if it said stop, it would probably show that as well. Let's we'll see if we can't find one that says stop so we can show that. All right, coming up, we're going to pass a railroad crossing, and then we're also going to see the stop signs on the ground or the stop uh, indicator on the ground and see if it reads that. There's a couple of them here. Stop ahead. Okay. 
and actually shows it on the ground. Stop. Very nice and two stop signs. So that's kind of cool. A little glitchy, a little herky jerky here, but it's cool nonetheless. Some different signage, maybe it picks up, maybe it doesn't, no, just a cone or something that recognizes a cone. The traffic light itself, I'm in a hospital right now, so I wanted to get some more signage to see if it could pick up. Doesn't seem to be picking up anything different. Again, the animation for the stoplights is a little bit weird just because the stoplight gets really big as you pass it in terms of the perspective. More trash cans, more cars, more congestion. Wanted to just see what that all looks like together in this new preview, and that's pretty much it. The word only for the turn doesn't show, but the arrow does. The uh, one that was on the ground. Let's go back around the bend here. And we see that we have a stop sign coming up. It's not reading that sign, but it does show the ones on the ground. So the words on the ground it is showing, but it doesn't show stop sign warnings to say that the stop sign is coming up in the visualization. All right, but it does show the stopped words here. That's pretty cool, as well as the stop sign and more cars. It even shows the signage for the railroad crossing as well on the ground. So here goes the railroad signage crossing here, and you see the RR as I just pass under it. So that definitely does work. So again, approaching a railroad crossing, it doesn't recognize the sign, but it will recognize what's on the ground here in the railroad crossing signage, as you see there. Uh, and it also does turn on the, the railroad crossing uh, light as red, even though it's not visualized as the actual railroad crossing sign. It just shows a, a red traffic light to say that, hey, train is coming, stop, don't proceed. So that's giving me confidence that autopilot can see that. All right, so that's basically it. Another railroad crossing. Um, that's basically it. That's what the full self-driving preview has to offer in terms of the new visualization. Just wanted to get this video out really quickly to you guys before you guys embark on all the holiday uh, festivities. Uh, I'll have the full review of the other features of this update coming soon. Until then, enjoy your day and enjoy your Tesla.